Well, good morning and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 304 on March 7th, 2021. Well, good morning. Well, the sound sounds okay and the lighting is working better than I thought with all this sun in the background. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you're here with me this morning on this Sunday morning, and it's about 7.30 a.m. Let's enjoy. This is certainly my first sip of coffee this morning. Not sure about you, but let's enjoy our coffee together. All right, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> that's that's what that's what transpires when I drink that. <laughs> Ooh, everything is going to be okay. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm so grateful that you're here with me this morning, and uh, I wanted to <clears throat> catch up on a couple things from that uh, happened yesterday and even on uh, Thursday night. So I've talked to you about my mechanic that's in Delmont, and he has uh, my brother-in-law's car getting it inspected, and the brakes on my uh, car that I bought from my cousin <laughs> that I replaced the engine in this summer because the head gasket went. I rebuilt the, had the engine rebuilt by my mechanic. Uh, it sounded like it needed brakes. So he told me if I stopped at Napa and bought the brakes, he'd throw them on real quick. So we drove it to, we drove two cars. No, how did it work? I can't remember. Yes, we drove two cars on Thursday evening heading up to Johnstown. Drove two cars to his place in Delmont. Dropped the Acura off. Drove to Johnstown. Came back. Uh, we were driving the Tahoe that I bought from my uncle. <laughs> and you can tell we're kind of a car family here. And it had an oxygen sensor that needed replaced. I'd also bought the oxygen sensor. So I left the Tahoe there and the brakes were done and he charged me $45 to install the rear brakes. <laughs> so <laughs> grateful for Ron. Thank you for taking care of that for me. So I had the price of the brakes and $45 and my rear brakes were good as new. So, um, so as you know, the previous two Saturdays, not yesterday, but the previous two Saturdays, we advertised this big food, farmers to families, FDA food thing we were doing. It was a big deal. We were advertising it, promoting it, making it happen. And the truck never showed up two weeks in a row. And so this week, the guy that was heading that up told me that a different person was heading it up, that I'm uh, that I've worked with before and I know uh, from the community he does a lot of work with food and homeless and uh, he's a, a significant resource and grateful to be able to help <clears throat> he was heading it up and <laughs> and they wanted to know if we wanted any and I'm like well there's uh, around 50 pallets on a box <clears throat> we'll take two pallets because I figured if all else fell on short notice we could give away a hundred boxes so we put that theory to test because we did not advertise we did not promote it we did not put it on social media until we had the boxes in the truck in our three trucks heading back to New Ken from Lower Burl to uh, begin passing them out. And then we started, we started letting people know that we actually had them. <clears throat> and 
got there by 1030 and by about a quarter after 12, we had given away, we had given away, um, by noon, I, I would think by quarter after 12. I can't think what time. Yeah, a quarter after 12, we'd given away nearly 85, bo about 85 of the boxes. So it had gotten slow. It, it had slowed down. And so we um, started putting them on the dolly and taking them on the front porch of the church because it was going to be cold enough overnight, which it was. I heard Katanning was seven degrees last night. <laughs> uh, it was going to be cold enough overnight to keep the items uh cold because it was milk yogurt cheese uh fully cooked uh chicken meat off the bone um potatoes onions all that good stuff so we started um we put them all on the on the front porch what well, was funny then more people started coming, and I think there might have been five boxes left on the front porch when we were all done. And um, I have to tell you, the <clears throat> the sense of joy and satisfaction, gratification, I, I'm not sure what the word is, to just be able to bless people and bless them in ways that uh, is helpful, bless them in ways that bring life, bless them in ways that uh, in a very physical way felt, felt really, really, really good. So <clears throat> uh, if we if we hear that they're doing it again and we're invited to participate, since we've had one good run, we may um, uh, give a little bit of notification beforehand. <laughs> Maybe, hey, this might be happening. <laughs> Not sure, it might be happening. If you wanna come give us a hand or if you want to uh, come pass out food to people you know that could benefit from it. We had a lot of people come get five, six, seven boxes and take it to people that they knew. And then, you know, there was just a whole lot of uh, blessing going on yesterday. And afterwards I took, um, we had three guys helping us quite a bit. And then one had to go, um, uh, one had to go over an hour after he came to help. And then um, really appreciate your help, Tim. And then Dan and Randy stayed until uh, we were all done. And it was a little after one. And no, it was a little after. I'm sorry. It was 1230. Yeah. It was 1230. And I said, well, let me take you to lunch. So we went to Need Cafe. And I sat there with Dan and Randy. And the, the whole time I was standing with them, outside in the cold with the wind blowing we stacked the boxes up to make like a fort to protect us from the wind <clears throat> i i just uh, what what remarkable men that they uh, gave up their saturday morning three weeks in a row for this moment to, to be blessing people to be helping people to be serving the lord this way uh, it touched me deeply. And I just, you know, when I was in college, the chancellor of my college would say, <clears throat> he would say that the quality of your life will change in the course of a year in relationship to the people you meet and the books you read. And I have to tell you over the past four, five years, In my 50s, I met, I've met some of the dearest friends that I ever thought I could have. 
and it, it amuses me because there was a time in my 50s that I thought, okay, I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> it's just right out the wave from here. There's nothing left to do. No more hills to charge. No more. <laughs> it's just like, the Lord's like, no, 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 no. I have so much more for you in store. Don't ever, ever, ever think that way. And I'm so grateful for um, my new good friends. I call them new. Um, you know, five years or less, I'm calling you a new friend. <laughs> but uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, well, guys, I'm going to move the camera over just a little bit because the sun is encroaching on our uh, daylight here. And I want to try to get as much daylight as possible before we sign off. Another thing hit me um, this week. I checked on Google, when does daylight savings time begin? And it begins next Sunday morning. So a week from today, this is the light we will have at um, 8.44 a.m. because we lose an hour sleep, move the clock forward. So this is the light at 8.44. So I, I just was like, in six days, really? In six days, it's going to be daylight savings time. In six days, we'll lose an hour of sleep on Saturday night. In six days. And I, I enjoy daylight savings time. I loathe the week after it happens because it's like playing catch up. It's, it's like trying to, trying to where'd that hour of sleep go? Where did it go? I, I, I lost it. I need it back. <laughs> I don't know if you struggle at all. Uh, during the week after daylight savings time begins. But when I say I loathe it, I don't mean I loathe it. I just hate it. <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy the added hour of daylight later in the day. That means that uh, you will notice that uh, after 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock at night next week, uh, you will still be able to see some daylight. So um, it's, it's fun. This is my favorite, favorite time of year. These four months in a row, February, February, March, April, and May. I love this time when things begin to wake back up and come back to life and whew, <clears throat> very, very, very exciting. Mm. Well, I hope that uh, I hope that you have a great Sunday. I hope that you uh, are able to worship at the place that you worship. I hope that you're able to worship at your church. Um, four weeks from today is Easter Sunday, and at the River New Ken, we've added an 8 a.m. service for Easter Sunday morning. So we'll have a service from 8 to 9 a.m., from 9 to, from 9.15 to 10.15, and from 10.30 to 11.30. So very excited about all of that. And, um. Uh, Attendance has been really strong at the river, uh, comparatively speaking, over the past year. So grateful for, so grateful for that. Uh, this Tuesday, I'm sure you'll hear all about it. I'm sure you'll get tired of hearing all about it. <laughs> this Tuesday, March 9th, is that most amazing day in, in my life that I met my wife. And yes, I will be telling you the story play by play, how it happened on Tuesday morning. I'll share it with you on March 9th. I'm sure you've heard it before. I don't think on daylight I've told it to the depth and degree that I'm going to tell it, but uh, very, very, very thrilled that, um, 
that Tuesday I get to celebrate 30 years, 30 years since my wife and I met on our blind date and my life changed forever because of that. Uh, if you don't know Leslie, phew, wow, she is, uh, she is an amazing woman, amazing daughter, amazing mother. She's an amazing teacher. Um, she's an amazing friend. Uh, she is the best and I am blessed. And I hope that each of you, uh, believes that your spouse is the best. And if you do not, I hope that each of you, um, wrestle through that tension and, address what what would need to change in me what would need to change in me <laughs> and what could my spouse do i mean it would be helpful to at least have that clarified this is what is keeping me from feeling that my spouse is the best spouse in the world <laughs> now i'm not saying be nitpicky i mean good grief with as OCD as I am, I could come up with a list of a hundred idiosyncratic things I do that drive my wife crazy or that she does to drive me crazy, but um, we don't focus on those. We choose to be amused instead of annoyed, and we keep each other amused quite a bit. <laughs> but I am uh, I am so blessed, so grateful, and so excited to share all the story from, from the unbelievable thing my mother said to me when I was leaving on this blind date. My mother with a gift of encouragement who believed in her son, who uh, thought her son could walk on water. Uh, the, 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 the most encouraging person cheering me on my entire life. The thing she said to me before I went out on this date with Leslie is, mind-blowing. So can't wait to tell you about that. I can't wait to tell you. I'm sure many of you know where we went on our first date, but if not, I look forward to disclosing that with you. Look forward to maybe sharing with you, if Leslie will allow, um, uh, a photo of what she wrote in her journal after that date. Uh, look forward to sharing so much of it with you. And uh, so that's just a little teaser before Tuesday. <laughs> so today, I hope that you connect with your church online or in person. If you're part of the river, I hope that you connect with the river online or in person. If you want to check the river, our live stream out, our, our um, I don't know, we, we, we film it on Friday and edit it and then we stream it, premiere it on Sunday morning at eight. So you can go to the River New Ken YouTube or the River New Ken Facebook and see how that all came together. Cannot wait to show you where we filmed. Really thrilled about it. I think I might have mentioned it on here, but um, I filmed at a great location. I was really thrilled with how um, the optics came together and how it all worked out. So, um, Look forward to a great morning. Uh, can't wait to see what the Lord is up to. Uh, we've been having guests come and come back at the river. Looking forward to that. And uh, can't wait to see all that's ahead. <sighs> so, all right, guys. Well, I am going to uh, get going and... Uh, Look forward to uh, being with you guys tomorrow morning as we head into a new week together. Enjoy the sunshine today. Oh, it's cold, but there's lots of sunshine. Enjoy the sunshine today and uh, can't wait, cannot wait to see all that's ahead um, for us all this week. Uh, let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for this time we had together on this Sunday morning. Father, I pray that you would bless each person here. Watch over them. May they sense your love and your presence and your faithfulness and goodness in their lives today in a new, deeper way than ever before. 
Lord, I ask that you would bless my friends on here. Father, if they're married, I pray that you will help their marriages be all that they can be, be all that you dreamed that they would be. I pray that you would give both spouses the insight and the desire to honor you in their marriage. And Father, I pray that uh, today you will give us hope and joy and peace and life in new ways. May the sunshine, may we allow it to soak into our soul and remind us that spring is on its way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, great to be with you. Thanks for joining me this morning, and I can't wait till I get to see you tomorrow morning. It should be in the dark. Um, it should be around 10 till 6 a.m., and I look forward to seeing you then. God bless. Bye.